hey Clay, um, good progress here. Um, so just a few suggestions. Um, some of these elements just aren't really standing out enough, like the facial elements. I would definitely do something to make them stronger. I would also um, do something with the bottom here, maybe put snow over it or add a little shadow. This is pretty abrupt <clears throat> and it's really at a place that, that <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's at a place that the user's eye, the viewer's eye really looks at. So I would really um, think of trying to soften this somehow. Um, you know, you could you could erase part of it by using a feathered edge eraser. Um, let's see. I would also move this up. Um, it's very close to the bottom here, which it just looks uncomfortable um, for the for visually. Um, so I would definitely move it up. It's okay if it overlaps the text. It actually creates more unity that way but this um, again this is very harsh here so I mean you could even I don't know you could even cut part of it off if you wanted to or but I would just suggest shorter and just softening it up so you could could do a few different things I would use the fe the eraser with a feather um, I like these sticks but they're not really showing up they're really hard to see so I would again I think I've already showed you this I would add some effects like you did in the text, maybe um, you know a glow or something like that. Another thing is I would still work on the text and also the negative space. There's a lot of negative space right here. Um, so what that does is it just it doesn't look finished when there's a lot of negative space. I'm just wondering if moving it over would help. That helps a little bit. Maybe if you put you know maybe if you made the shadow go into this part a little bit more too, it would help. Um, but again, that's um, a lot of negative space there. I would probably also just, since I moved this up, but again, I would go and I would probably continue to then move the type around because then it can go into the negative space and, um, you know, it's just more readable. And I would do a little bit more with the type. Um, it just doesn't really look finished. You might want to add some red to one of the letters because if you repeat color um, it, it will create unity repeating anything creates unity so you've got the repetition of the texture here you've got the repetition of that up here you've got the color repeating up here and some of the more, the cooler colors um, so if you um, try to you know but I would just experiment <clears throat> excuse me um, I would go in and, and whoops and see you know what a little tiny layer stroke or something would look like um, and, and you know in that same kind of red color um, you know something more you know something more like the red you have up there I think it's more it's less of a pink red so it's more like the red down at the bottom here um, and again I'm not saying just use the stroke you could use a slight little glow again for consistency um, you know something like that let me see let me make this less and then you could try um you know again there's just a lot of things you can do in inner glow you don't have to do the same thing every time you know obviously um, let's look at what an inner glow with the red would look like um, so it just needs a touch you know just like a touch of color um, it can even doesn't have to be that strong. It can be on the outside too. So anyway, and then you could. Oh, that's an inner shadow too, not an inner glow. But that doesn't look bad either. It actually adds a little bit of. Um, let's see what the inner glow would look like. Um, you know, the idea is to add a little bit of variety too. I hate how this always defaults to screen. Um, again, it doesn't have. No, I don't know about that one. Nah, I don't like the inner glow. I'd probably do outer glow if I was going to do anything or just keep the, um, you know. But again, I just think it needs some red color someplace else, that warm color. That's way too big. Um, let's make it that and let's just make it a lot smaller. You know, you, you don't want to go overboard with these filters because they look really cheesy for the most part. You know what I'm saying? They just don't. Um, but again, um, and there's other ways to add color, not just these ways. So there's so many different ways to add. You know, you could also add some more red up in here, but the face is just not, not viewable. You know what I'm saying? So um, these could be a lot bigger. I'm not sure what this is. I know the color 
I know it's green, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe use another, repeat the stick or something like that. Or, you know, it might be nice to repeat the ro the rose just because, you know, maybe put some on the ground in the negative space or something like that. But anyway, so a little bit more work to do to, um, for the final. And also you just want to keep working to create a portfolio piece. Um, you know, a stroke could be up here too because, again, this could stand out a little bit more. Maybe a dark blue. I mean, you don't want to put red everywhere, right? So, <clears throat> you know, where's the garden glitter one? Um, you know, but something like a little... Um, you know, like a blue stroke that, um, let's see here, yikes, um, that was dark, I don't know, it's not showing up though, did I get the right one, oh, I see, yeah, I would put, no, you already have a stroke on there, that's right, yeah, for some reason it's not, probably because I don't have the font. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, nice job. Just a little bit more work to do, okay? So let me know if you have any questions or concerns or anything. Um, the final's actually due today. I will accept it um, until tomorrow, okay? When grades are due.